Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, August 3rd. You know, this could uh, be yesterday, today, tomorrow, next week, you know, because we're all at different phases. This is the energy that I am picking up on today. Keep in mind that if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, this reading is not for you. There's no way I can connect with uh, one certain energy every day. It does definitely fluctuate. The messages will be for some, not for all. Go ahead and lay out the cards and zoom it in, and then we will go from there. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so we have a few players here today. We have the, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands reversed. We have the Queen of, of Pentacles upright and the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, it, it appears that, you know, somebody is lacking confidence, lacking courage, lacking energy with the Queen of Wands reversed right here. It's right in the middle. Somebody is not finding the passion that they need to move to move forward to do something because it's right next to the Knight of Wands. It's like there's a lack of excitement here. Now we have the Tower, which is a rude awakening. Even though it's reversed, it's coming. This rude awakening is coming. You may be able to avoid it right now, but it's going to come eventually. This this uh, nine of cups reversed is somebody's pride is is uh, making them unhappy. They're they're you know that's a, the nine of cups reversed and the sun reversed underneath it. There's unhappiness and it's caused by you know the shadow side. It's caused by the negative part of the ego. It's pride. So somebody and we have the four of coins holding on still. Now, I thought we were done with this shit, and I, you know, obviously we're all at different stages, and there's a lot of people still holding on. This is my second reading for today. The first one was holding on, somebody still holding on, and I was like, you know, I'm really, I really don't want to keep going with this, but if you're still holding on, the only ones that can change these readings are you, okay? There's an opportunity for happiness, an opportunity for bliss, but you have to stop, you have to let go, you have to stop holding on to some obsession. Um, it appears that whatever you're, whatever it is that you're holding on to, whatever it is, there's no chance with the judgment card. You know, this is somebody who is obsessed with something that, that they don't really even need to hold on to. They have plenty. You know, look inside the box. They have plenty. The world is right in front of them. They have enough to, to explore, to do what they want, to get what they want, but still still wanting more being greedy you know the fact of the matter is is you have to release you have to let go there's no chance of really getting anything out of what you're holding on to it's not like you're going to get more happiness out of that you're not somebody is refusing to to release with this judgment card just waiting Waiting, 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 holding on to I'm going to get another chance, which then another chance isn't coming. It's not coming. I feel as though, you know, they're being stubborn with the king of coins reverse. Stubborn. There's a lot of stubbornness here. Stubbornly holding on, and it has to do with pride. You know, rejection. What is, what is rejection um, affects the ego, affects the pride. So I feel like there's a there's a feeling of extreme unhappiness while holding on, but but not allowing this this rude awakening to happen. 
You know, you don't you don't want to wake up. You, the, I mean, somebody. I mean, with these two cards, this is an awakening. It's reversed. I refuse to wake up. I refuse to see. I refuse to let this break apart. I refuse to let this break down. It has to break down. It's not meant to be. Whatever it is. Lack of awareness. I refuse to open my eyes. I refuse. I will stubbornly hold on. So, you know, that. therefore, you will continue to be unhappy. Holding on to something that is no has no chance of resurrection. There's no chance of resurrection. Holding on to something that has no chance of resurrection brings sadness. It does. It doesn't bring that ultimate wish fulfillment, even though in your mind you think it does. It does not. You know, I feel like somebody is is really lost their focus. They've lost their concentration thinking that the only happiness they can have is whatever they've been stubbornly holding on to. No, 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 no. So there's no forward movement on whatever you're obsessed with. It's not practical. It's not. And it's time to get practical. It's time to get grounded. It's time to open your third eye. It's time to be aware. It's time to be disciplined. It's time to nurture yourself. And let go of holding on to the stubborn attitude that I can get what I want because this is what I th I think that is going to make me happy. But the fact of the matter is, if somebody isn't forgiving you or they aren't communicating, because we got the silent treatment here, you know, if they aren't communicating, if they aren't involved, if they aren't around, they aren't around, they aren't here. If they aren't here, they aren't here. Same old fucking message. Somebody is not being practical at all. Not. I mean, the Queen of Wands in reverse is not being practical. Big ego. And when the ego is hurt, it's really hard to step outside of that ego and realize, accept what is. Somebody is trying to control the situation. This is what this is. I can control this. I can I can control it. And you cannot control it. You cannot. There's there's no forward movement in whatever it is that you're obsessed with. There's no growth. And it's time to be responsible and practical and grounded. And accept reality. Now, the Queen of Wands in reverse is the Queen of Denial. Now, this could be a man or a woman. The Queen of Denial. And there's a song. I don't know who it's by. Patty Loveless, maybe? I'm not sure. The Queen of Denial. That's not practical. So I feel like somebody is 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 thinking that whatever they're holding on to will eventually come around. It's not going to eventually coming come around. It's not. And as long as you hold on to this obsession, you're going to continue to be unhappy. There's going to be no growth in your life. You have to let go of what is no longer serving you. Holding on to it, I mean, you can't, the universe is going, is trying to break it down and they will, they will prevail. The universe will prevail. So all you're doing is stalling your own happiness. That's all you're doing. By not, by trying to control it, by trying to control the universe, the plan.
So I want to know, I'm hoping, I mean, we can get a message for the people that have let go. I mean, there's a lot of people that have let go. But there's a lot of people, obviously, because this message keeps coming up, that refuse. Their ego is in the way. Their pride is in the way. And they are feeling like they they want to live in fantasy land and hold on to some uh, lie. Okay. Untruth with the judgment card reversed. It's not. It's untruth. I refuse. I'm holding on. You know, it's the same old message. You know, it's whoever you're holding on to is emotionally unavailable to you. They're emotionally closed off. There's no new messages of love coming in from this person. This is the Page of Cups reversed. And it's impacting your future. Why? Why are you holding on to something that is a, or a person or a situation that is emotionally unavailable? It's, it's not happening. It's not. It's clinging to the past. It's the Six of Cups. Clinging to the past. And that's not in a good way. Unhealthy. Unhealthy clinging to the past. The Six of Cups reversed. The tower, the universe, is trying to break the chain. They're trying to break the, the cycle. There's no, somebody, the empress reversed. There's no rebirth here. There's no renewal. There's no growth. Why? Why can't you see that there is no growth in this obsession that you're holding on to? Because one time it made you happy. The memories of the happiness are holding you back. But the fact of the matter is, it broke down or it is breaking down for a reason. It's out of your control. You can't control it. Whoever is on the other side is no longer emotionally invested. Three of Swords reverse. It's time to... Uh, come on now. Let it go. It's over. Drop the swords. Drop it. Drop it. You're only hurting yourself by still hanging on. Drop it, please. Please. I feel like today is a day for the rest of you that are still hanging on to something to allow this sorrow to go away, to allow it. And then people, I'll get a comment, easier said than done. Well, you can continue to be unhappy. You can continue to live in that sad state of mind as long as you want, obviously. You can continue to be in denial forever if you want, but it will not bring you growth. It will not bring you happiness. And there's a lack of self-love, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-esteem. All of these. There's no growth in whatever it is that you're holding on to. And you know what you're holding on to? Memories. Memories. And it's okay to have good memories. But to hold on to something that's not coming back is unhealthy. It's unhealthy. I don't even know where these were. There's no rebirth. There's no renewal. For those of you that, are, that want to continue to live in fantasy land, you will continue to suffer. I want to get a message for those of you that have moved on. For those of you that have moved on, that have decided to be practical and let go. To forgive... There's a lack of forgiveness here. People that can't move on can't forgive. This judgment card is lack of forgiveness. For those of you that have moved on, you have forgiven. Okay, but there's a lack of forgiveness for this group of people. That's why they're still holding on. They can't forgive. Their pride and ego are in the way. That first card. But some of you have decided to be practical and let go. You know, you're not holding on.
Somebody's still in control. See, I'm not. This message is for the the brokenhearted that are still holding on. It's it's evident. The message yesterday, and probably that's where it's gonna go. That's what I'm thinking. Because yesterday it was for the people that moved on. This this day, I'm hoping that's the way it's gonna go. Anyway, I'm hoping. Um, these people are still trying to control. I mean, this is what this is. It's truly the, the case. You know, I, I refuse to accept guidance. I refuse to listen to my inner guide. I refuse to to change. I refuse to evolve. Somebody is totally trying to escape the truth. Living in fantasy land, there's absolutely no doubt. This is for the people that refuse and, and would rather live in extreme unhappiness, back and forth, ups and downs, highs and lows, and hold on to something that is... Never going to surface. Okay? That's what's happening here. So, some of you are in deep, deep, deep control. I will control myself to hold on to something that is unable to be resurrected. It's not going to happen. They refuse. Refuse to hear anything. The hair font reversed. I refuse. You got, you know, whatever. If you refuse to hear, if you refuse to listen to your inner God, if you refuse to hear anything from a spiritual advisor or from above or from a friend or from anything, then you will continue to be the queen of denial, whatever. You go ahead and be the queen of denial. I really don't care. Um, but I feel as though, you know, as long as you do that, as long as you continue to be that queen of denial, whether you're male or female, there's going to be a rocky road. There will be a rocky road until you be practical. This woman, she is not the queen of denial. She's the queen of reality. And that's the very last card. It's time to get real. There's no action going to be taken in regards to this obsession that you're holding on to. Four of Cups. I got the chills. Why are you so concentrated on this opportunity that isn't even being presented to you? When you have an Ace of Cups here and a Two of Cups here that you can't even see, that you won't even notice? Focused on a dream? A fantasy? When there's other another opportunity waiting for you? Why? It's time to come out of the clouds. Come out of the clouds. And look what's on the ground. Look what's look what's real. Somebody is trying to, to escape the reality of what is. I mean, I don't feel the need to go any further. It's time to come out of denial. And allow yourself to start the healing process. Drop the sword. Stop the fight. It's done. It's over. Goodbye.